Our first speaker at GitLab Commit 2021 is here to tell us about the next iteration of DevOps. Please welcome to the stage GitLab's co-founder and CEO, Sid Sibrandi. Welcome to Commit 2021. I'm Sid C. Brandy, the co-founder and CEO of GitLab. And this is the conference where you, the users, customers, and partners of GitLab take center stage. GitLab, the software project, was created in 2011. On October 8th, we'll celebrate 10 years of innovating together. We have an incredible lineup of, of speakers who will share their stories of transformation with GitLab, the DevOps platform. But before we do that, I want to spend some time reflecting on last year. Then I'll talk about the evolution of DevOps. And lastly, I'll give you my predictions for the future of the industry. The COVID-19 pandemic has challenged us mentally, physically, and emotionally. I'm grateful to the first responders, medical teams, service workers, scientists, and countless others who have kept the world going. It's a great reminder of how much we need one another. GitLab's community is no exception. At the height of the global pandemic, many of you saw the crisis and made a difference in inspiring ways. When global COVID testing capabilities were limited, Illumina Consulting Group used GitLab to develop an app to predict the likelihood that a person had COVID. And GitLab team member Matt Noor used GitLab pages to create an amazing website. It was able to track local COVID cases to help predict whether in-person schooling would be possible. And there even is an open source ventilator project called OpenLum, which was built with GitLab. Schools and universities were faced with the challenge of remote instruction. And in some cases, university students were forced to take a COVID-19 gap year. But it didn't mean higher education stopped innovating. The University of Texas Southwestern Medical School used GitLab to create a virtual paid internship Students used their engineering and computer science skills towards solving real-world medical problems. Because the pandemic closed offices and forced people to stay home, it also accelerated remote work. As some companies got back to working from the office, many practices they learned during their remote time will stick around. Remote best practices are useful in an office setting because they're centered around making sure that everyone in the company has an equal employee experience. And GitLab's own head of remote, Darren Murph, has held more than 60 collaborative sessions with consulting companies, venture capital firms, and universities. Darren and his team have produced a great deal of content. They documented more than 50 remote handbook guides, offered a remote certification course, and they partner with Coursera on a free course. They also published the GitLab Remote Playbook and the GitLab 2021 Remote Work Report. The culmination of their work was GitLab's first remote event, simply named Remote by GitLab. And this event fostered a conversation with the biggest leaders in tech to share knowledge and elevate others. I'm really passionate about remote work because GitLab's history has been all remote and it's benefited us greatly. GitLab's DevOps journey began when my co-founder, Dmitry Zaporozets, created GitLab in 2011. And living in the Ukraine, Dmitry had no running water, but he, creating a collaboration tool for his team was a higher priority than plumbing. He used the Ruby subreddit and later Twitter to garner interest from the developer community. It was 2012 when I discovered GitLab from my home in the Netherlands. GitLab already had more than 300 contributions from a wide range of people. I was impressed with the code quality and the open source community behind it. And I thought, this makes so much sense that something you collaborate with is also something you can contribute back to. And knowing that software as a service was the future, I asked people on Hacker News if they would be interested in using GitLab as a service. And a community responded, and soon hundreds of people signed up for the beta. While GitLab evolved, the DevOps industry changed significantly. In organizations, the number of tool project integrations grew exponentially because of two developments in DevOps. 
companies moved from monolithic architectures to microservices. And using microservices, they can scale independently and teams can move faster. The faster delivery of software also required that companies use more DevOps tools per project. And this linear growth of both more projects and more tools per project led to an exponential increase in the number of project tool integrations. And this increase in project tool integrations necessitated that companies change the way they adopt DevOps tools. At GitLab, we see four phases in the adoption of DevOps tools over time. The first phase is that of silo DevOps. Each team selects their own tools. This caused problems when the teams tried to work together because they were not familiar with the tools of the other teams. So organizations move to the second phase, fragmented DevOps. In this phase, organizations standardize on the same set of tools. There was one preferred tool for each stage of the DevOps lifecycle. It helped teams collaborate with each other but because the tools were not connected, it was hard to move through the DevOps lifecycle. If your team tells you that they lose context moving from tool to tool, to tool you might be in this phase. Organizations try to remedy this by manually integrating their DevOps point solutions together. This led to a third wave called DIY DevOps. But these tools were not designed to use the same concept, so they never fit quite right. This caused friction in the developer experience. For many organizations, maintaining DIY DevOps was also a significant effort and resulted in higher costs. I believe that the true potential of DevOps has not been fully realized in any of these three phases. And that's why I'm really proud that GitLab is the leader in enabling the fourth phase, the DevOps platform era. The DevOps platform is a single application with one user interface and a unified data store. Today, GitLab's DDevOps platform includes every stage of the DevOps lifecycle. It brings together development, operations, and security. And it allows those groups to collaboratively plan, build, secure, and deploy software. The first iteration of the DevOps platform was much smaller, and it, also, it only included create and verify. This iteration came about when Camille Shinsky made a suggestion that changed the DevOps industry. He suggested that we integrate our two existing products into one application. Those products were GitLab source code management and GitLab continuous integration. And it turned out that this combination was much more usable than the sum of its parts. And since then, we doubled down on that initial success and we've added every other stage of the DevOps lifecycle to GitLab. You've told us that the DevOps platform has empowered your business to achieve velocity and efficiency. Ticketmaster started out using GitLab for code review and Git history and found that by using GitLab CI tools, they were able to see faster cycle times, faster releases, and happier customers. Goldman Sachs used GitLab to reduce their build speed. This enabled them to deliver investment and consumer banking applications faster. In fact, they accelerated their release cycle from two weeks to just a few minutes with the DevOps platform. To help you realize the full value of your investment, GitLab empowers a robust partner ecosystem. Partners help GitLab customers complete their DevOps journey by providing the technology integrations, best practices, services, and support needed to achieve their business goals. In the past year, GitLab announced collaboration and integrations with Aqua Security, Atlassian, IBM, HashiCorp Terraform, Red Hat OpenShift, Oracle Cloud, and VMware Tanzu. GitLab has also invested in go-to-market partnerships with two of the hyperscalers, Google Cloud Platform and Amazon Web Services. As I think about the future of DevOps, there are three things that I wanna share. First, I believe that a platform solution that integrates security is the future. A platform solution that does that is the best way to secure your software supply chain end to end. With such a platform, there's no need to sacrifice speed to make room for security. The world's most trusted hacker powered security company, HackerOne, is using the DevOps platform. 
With GitLab, they've been able to replace their DIY tool chain and shift security left. They are now catching security flaws early and getting immediate feedback since security is built into the developer's workflow. In May, the US government issued a new policy aimed at securing both the private and public sector software supply chains against malicious cyber attacks. Now is the time to include security in your DevOps journey. In today's landscape, you need to secure 100% of your applications 100% of the time they get updated. The only practical way to do that is to integrate security in the platform. Second, I believe that machine learning will be critical in making the DevOps workflow faster. In the GitLab 2021 DevSecOps survey, 75% of respondents reported that their DevOps teams are using or planning to use machine learning or AI for testing and code review. In June, GitLab announced the acquisition of a machine learning-based solution called Unreview. This acquisition and continued machine learning integration will automate workflows and compress the DevOps cycle time. GitLab is focused on using machine learning to reduce friction in your work so you can spend time innovating. And third, I believe DevOps platform adoption will accelerate. Our customers recognize that DIY tools are too complicated. And if you're feeling that way too, you need to decide how you want to get to simplicity. And the fastest way to do that is with the platform. Gartner predicts that by 2023, 40% of organizations will have switched from multiple point solutions to a platform in order to streamline application delivery. You don't need to rip and replace to get a platform overnight. Many customers started their GitLab journey with source code management and CI. When they were ready, GitLab helped them to replace the rest of their DIY DevOps. This improved their velocity, efficiency, and security. GitLab works with you and the partner ecosystem to achieve your DevOps platform vision on your schedule. There's an old expression that goes, if you want to go fast, go alone. And if you want to go far, go together. With GitLab, I'm proud of how far and fast we've been able to go together. The commitment and contributions from users, customers, and partners have been essential to GitLab, both as a project and a company. From the very beginning, GitLab has asked for your feedback, your ideas, and your code. It started with Dimitri and a subreddit. It continued with the launch of GitLab on Hacker News, and it's taken the shape of countless GitLab issues and conversations. This conference is about the power of community, where we share ideas and we innovate together. Over the next two days, you'll hear from companies like UBS, who are using GitLab on their journey to become cloud native. And Forrester will help interpret the impact of President Biden's executive order on cybersecurity. You'll hear from Intel, who has scaled their self-managed GitLab instance for more than 50,000 users. And Vox Media will share how they integrated GitLab CI CD with their existing infrastructure with zero downtime. You'll hear from Monju Bot, a Gartner analyst. Monju will talk about the DevOps platform era and why it is here now. And you'll hear from GitLab team member, Darva Satcher, who will share how C is working to empower the next generation of DevOps engineers. I hope these presentations will inspire and unlock new ideas of how we can innovate together in the future. I'm so grateful for your business, your partnership and your contributions. Thank you. And thank you to our sponsors who have helped make this event possible. I hope you enjoy the next two days of the GitLab Commit Conference.